Hi, I'm Barry Holloway and I grew up here in Waukesha and at one time I was one of these playground kids and eventually a playground leader for Waukesha Park Rec and Forestry, better known as WPRF. Today they asked me to host to show you why we are such a deserving candidate for the gold medal award. Here, one step. Let's go meet some of my friends. Waukesha. 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 Make that Waukesha. Okay, so Waukesha may be easier to find than it is to say. Incorporated in 1896, located in southeast Wisconsin between Madison and Milwaukee, Waukesha serves a community of approximately 68,000 and is the county seat of government and the boyhood home of renowned musician and inventor of the solid body electric guitar, Les Paul. Nestled along the banks of the Fox River, Waukesha literally sprang up in the 1800s. The Bethesda Mineral Springs soon became known as the Saratoga of the West. Waukesha was on the map. Historically, this river has always drawn people to Waukesha. So it's a natural that our parks play a huge role in who we are as a city, a community, and a destination. In fact, Money Magazine cited our parks and open space as a major reason for ranking us as one of their 100 best places to live. That kind of recognition comes from a vision and a determination to maintain and enhance the high quality of life in Waukesha, even in the face of unique challenges. Ironically, this city, known for its water, is now addressing concerns with water supply, EPA radium compliance, stormwater management, and flood mitigation. We are providing park access for new wells, promoting a water conservation program, including tree and turf watering management, and extensively renovating one of our parks to provide greater storm water management. WPRF is helping the water utility address its water concerns head on. Our community relations, especially with the WPRF, have proven to be invaluable. The last five years have also required a harder look at park security. There's a new park attendant program to help keep the park safe. We've utilized block grant funding to increase community policing at our playgrounds and added high-tech security cameras and keyless entry points to protect park facility access. The parks here in the city of Waukesha are one of our most precious resources and are really key to the health and vitality of our community. We want all of our citizens and those who visit the parks to feel safe and comfortable here. We work collaboratively with the uh, WPRF here on a daily basis on small and large projects alike. What better way to connect to the community than through its kids? Over the past five years, the partnership with area schools, we've expanded our recreation to education program. We now offer more programs that reach a wider range of kids. I used to love working for these playgrounds. Now as a parent and a school administrator, I appreciate them even more. Recreation plus education equals a winning formula. With overwhelming support from parents, our recreational offerings for kids make learning fun all year long. We recently partnered with the local school district to create a four-year-old kindergarten program at our community recreation center. When it comes to community events, the Waukesha Jamboree has been a favorite among area residents for 25 years. And we're talking about the Waukesha Jamboree and the sledding and the folks are getting warm by the fire here. Well, look at all these folks getting ready for a lot of fun out here tonight. So come on back and join us for the Waukesha Jamboree. We'll tell you all about it. With the help of multiple community partners and area businesses, we've added dozens of family events free activities for kids, and Freezing for Hunger overnight camping event have helped turn Jamboree into a premier winter event. When WPRF started the Waukesha Jamboree more than 25 years ago, little did we know the regional impact it would have on the Waukesha community. 
We had more than 20,000 people coming out to join in the fun last year and made such a connection with the community. Here we are at WPRF. We're always looking for opportunities to become a more dynamic civic and cultural uh, recreational center here in Waukesha. And it's that kind of long-range planning that we take very seriously. Our 2010 through 2015 Departmental Strategic Plan incorporated internal external stakeholder input, community survey information, as well as aligning with the city strategic plan goals and NRPA agency accreditation standards. Other critical planning tools include the city park and open space, aquatic facilities, and urban forestry management plans. Identified in the 2006 and 2010 surveys as a significant need, we are currently in the process of developing a comprehensive bike pedestrian plan for the city. We are stewards of the park system for all of our city residents. The residents rely on us to protect the parks, to utilize the appropriate resources, and to utilize community connections to keep our parks vibrant and strong. The WPRF takes protecting and preserving our natural resources a top priority. We're working hard with the Wisconsin DNR to find environmentally friendly options to control some of our biotic pests, such as the gypsy moth or uh, the amber lash borer and invasive buckthorn. We've recently acquired more than 200 acres of environmentally sensitive woods, meadows, riverbanks, and in cooperation with the state of Wisconsin, have initiated an erosion control program along the Fox River. We've switched to natural fertilizers at several sites and cut down on pesticide use by landscaping more with native plants. A former landfill is now a soccer complex and all of our ADA accessible playgrounds are resurfaced with recycled rubber material. And we are currently replacing park signs with recycled plastic material. At our environmental education center, more than 4,000 students come to meet guys like these and participate in our nature-based programs each year. And hundreds more join in Arbor Day programs and tree planting. No wonder we've been a Tree City USA award recipient for 30 consecutive years. The WPRF has received many awards and accommodations through the years that let us know we are doing a good job. But the feedback we like to receive most comes from the people using our services. In 2006, a statistically viable and reliable citizen satisfaction survey rated us highly and gave us good ideas for improvement. As a result of the survey, many new initiatives were realized, including greatly expanded school-based programming, construction of new trails, and the addition of more fitness program opportunities. The survey was recently completed again to help establish valuable service benchmarks. The survey also reaffirmed a high level of support for affordable programming, well-maintained parks, and value of the urban forest. In short, WPRF greatly adds to our quality of life and is viewed as an essential service. We like to make sure that our citizens know just how much we respect their input. We are constantly communicating program updates and service improvements at public meetings via our website, DVDs, and our activity guide magazine, even through a bumper sticker campaign. For more instantaneous outreach, Twitter, email blasts, online activity guides, plus the city-owned cable TV station, all help us connect with the community. A special new high-tech service is making our adult sports teams happy. Through the website, I can link to WPR Sports for the latest scores, standings, and scheduling information for my team. I can even keep an eye on the competition that way, too. Here at Heritage Hills Park, our first community-built playground, it's a great example of how WPRF is committed to making sure that all of our programs and services are accessible to every citizen. For example, all 28 of our playgrounds are ADA accessible. In partnership with Easter Seals, we offer a 10-week, full-day program for developmentally disabled young people and monthly field trips for all ages. Our R&R Club offers recreation to children with special needs and respite to their parents once a month. In the summer, we have two youth recreation programs serving designated neighborhood revitalization areas. We also offer financial assistance for families in need. I have found that keeping kids active 
Keeping them in positive situations are the best things in bringing forth the quality of life that children deserve and work so hard for today. Waukesha Park Rec Forestry has done a wonderful job in keeping our community active, being involved with the community and providing opportunities we never thought possible. Thank you, Waukesha. Waukesha's seniors find plenty of activities designed just for them at WPRF too. Our Stepping On Fall Prevention Exercise Program and a Brown Bag Speaker Series are also popular. You know the success of WPRF would be possible without the help of strong citizen groups and dedicated individuals. Volunteers from the Fox River Foundation, Buck Throwing Busters, and the adopt -a park program help maintain our parks. The WPRF Friends sponsor an annual children's bike race. And the Park Foundation of Waukesha supports several initiatives, including the Trail Breaker Marathon, to raise funds and appreciation for the Waukesha Park System. Times are challenging, but we cannot let a slow economy threaten these beautiful parks and the wonderful recreation opportunities they provide the people of Waukesha, people of all ages, needs, and backgrounds. Thanks for coming with me to check out Waukesha and meet some of my friends. I hope we're able to show you why we're a great community with a gold medal parks department. Beautiful natural green space. Varied and plentiful recreation. In partnership with other agencies and city departments. Strengthened by the commitment of local businesses and countless caring individuals. Walkshop Parks Recreation and Forestry, creating community connections for a healthy future! Oh man, this aerial footage is making me sick.